everyone, it's Jillian and for today's video I thought we would go back to basics with slime So I'm gonna be showing you the easiest slime recipe ever. So this is perfect for beginners There's only three ingredients and if this is your first time making slime then You should definitely try out this recipe because it's super easy I also want to let you guys know that I just started a brand new giveaway over on my Instagram And I'm going to be giving away four slimes that I'm going to create to one person So if you would like to enter that giveaway just head over to my Instagram it is so much fun and I am so excited about it. So we're going to start off by making our slime activator and what activator is, is it's basically what's going to make our glue into slime. So it's super important. So to a jug, just add one cup of warm water and then you're going to need borax. And I just found this in the cleaning aisle of my supermarket and then just take half a teaspoon of the borax and add this to the water. And then you just want to stir it until all the borax has dissolved. Now you can leave your slime activator in the jug, but what I've been loving doing lately is actually adding it to a squeezy bottle like the one you can see here. So I'm just carefully pouring it into the bottle and then popping the lid back on. And I just love using this squeezy bottle to add my slime activator to my slime. And I just popped a label on it here just so everyone knew that it was activator. So now it's time to make our slime. So you're first going to need a bowl and then you're going to need some PVA school glue and just add a bottle of this to the bowl. So I'm using Elmer's school glue. That's just my favorite one. Now this is an optional step, but I love coloring my slime. I love making them really bright, fun colors, and you can either use acrylic paint or you can use food dye. I'm using acrylic paint here, so I'm just adding a little bit to the glue and then mixing it in until it's all the same consistency. Now grabbing that activator that we prepared earlier, just squeeze in a little bit of this at a time. You're not going to need that much. I know we prepared like a bigger batch of it, but you're only going to use a tiny amount. So just squeeze a little bit of the activator into the glue mixture and start mixing it. And immediately you'll see that it's starting to form a slime texture. So you just want to continue stirring it super slowly and you also want to make sure that you're adding your activator very slowly because you don't want to over activate your slime because then it will be super rubbery and not stretchy at all. So you just want to continue slowly adding your activator a little bit at a time and then mixing it, adding activator, mixing it and just see how it's going. Every time you make slime, you need a different amount of activator. So you really just need to pay attention to how your slime's going. So you can see here that it's still quite sticky, but it is starting to come away from the sides of the bowl. And here I'm working with my hands just to help it form slime quicker. Sometimes your slime has enough activator in it and you just need to start working with your hands and then it'll come together. So now we have this super soft and super stretchy slime. This is like the most basic slime recipe. So if you're a beginner to making slime and you've never made it before and you want to try it, I would definitely recommend trying out this recipe. This is my go-to slime recipe. And whenever someone asks, what is the most easy slime I can make? This is the one that I recommend. And then to store your slime when you're not using it, just pop it into an airtight container. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun making it. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see new videos from me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.